Generative AI is the hot topic these days. In the last six months, it says there are hundreds of application models and uh, technologies have emerged. And uh, this is not the end. You and me will witness many more such in coming days as well. But still, there is some confusion among people on which are the areas to be focused and what is the potential of this generative AI. While doing this research, I came across an interesting research paper from McKinsey, which is released in June uh, itself. So I thought, why not uh, talk about that research paper and uh, understand what are the insights that we get out of it. The topic of the research paper is the economical potential of generative AI. So let's get started. Recently in June, McKinsey and company has conducted a research on 63 use cases and based on that, they have come up with a 68 pager research report with title, The Economical Potential of Generative AI. Don't worry, I won't take you through the entire 68 pages, but in this video, we can definitely look at some of the insights from this uh, research. Now, first uh, insight is what is the potential size that they are talking about? They estimate that with the help of AI, there will be an addition of $2.6 trillion to $4.4 trillion on an annual basis. That's huge. Another uh, interesting fact that they mention is like 75% of value is delivered through in three to four areas customer operations, marketing and sales, software engineering, and research and development. Now, for example, the capability of generative AI in supporting customer interaction, uh, in um, actually generating creative contact, content for marketing and sales, and also drafting code for engineering teams are some of the capabilities that is driving this. Another big insight is that uh, there are three major uh, sectors which will get benefited in terms of revenue. First one is banking, another one is high tech and the third one is life sciences. They will have as far as percentage of revenue is concerned, these areas will be heavily impacted. Uh, for example, the technology in banking itself has the capa uh, capability of generating around $200 billion to uh, $340 billion on an annual basis. So you can understand how these sectors would be transforming in future. Generative AI and other technologies have the potential of automating almost 60 to 70 percent of activities where employees spend their time. The major impact would be in the area which we call it as knowledge work. Now, knowledge work is something where the wages are high and where education is required. And this is possible because of its ability to understand natural language. Another interesting fact that is mentioned is that the pace of transformation of workforce is also likely to accelerate. It is expected that uh, by 2030 uh, to 2060, half of uh, the work uh, would be automated. This estimation is almost a decade earlier. It is also mentioned that this would enable labor productive growth from 0.1% to 0.6% by 2040. But for this, uh, again, it depends on the adoption rate and also uh, we need to upskill our uh, workers. Lastly, they sum it up stating that it's just beginning of the new era. There is a lot of excitement and the initial pilots are quite compelling. However, for leaders and business people to reap uh, the entire benefit, they have to still go through a couple of uh, challenges. The first one that they mention is they need to look at the re inherent risk of generative AI. 
The second thing they mention is they have to think through what are the skills that they have to uh, impart to their uh, employee and workforce. And last, uh, what they are stating is they have to also look at uh, or rethink on their entire business processes and uh, involve activities like retraining. Hope today's video was insightful for all of you and uh, have given some food for thought on where are we heading in terms of generative AI. With that, me Sarika Hussain signing off for today.